What time are we supposed to be at the press banquet tonight? Well, the dinner starts at 7, but uh, we're not going to be there, Jeannie. You're not going. No, uh-uh. One blink from you, and they'd put me back up in space oh, permanently. but Master, Master, please. What if I promise from this moment on not to use any of my power? You'd forget. Oh, no, I would not. I put my uh, briefcase around here someplace. I did on the couch. Please, Master, I would not forget. You see. Huh? I forgot. Oh, oh, but I would not this evening. No, I would be I'm very I'm sorry, careful. Jeannie. It just wouldn't work out, honestly. Uh, you and I will have dinner together tomorrow night. Just the two of us, okay? Very I'll see well, you later. Master. Wait, Master! Jeannie, <laughs> <laughs> I'm late. Master, I have a wonderful idea. Yeah? What if I transferred my power for 24 hours? Then you would not have to worry about me tonight. Transferred your power? Well, could you do that? Oh, of course. Yeah. I will show you. <laughs> there. It is done. Y are you sure? Oh, yes, Master. I will prove it to you. I will try to blink you to work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm still here. <laughs> okay, you ready? You, you've got a deal. You've got a deal. Oh, thank you, Master. I can't tell you how relieved I am not to have to worry about you tonight. Uh, See you there. Wait until my master finds out who I have transferred my power to. Oh! Uh, well, hang on just a second. Let me, let me see. It's uh, Colonel Cochran. He has a couple of aunts in from Denver, and they want to meet some real live astronauts. He wants to have lunch with the commissary. No, thanks. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I don't think we can make it today. Yeah. Well, we're really up to our ears in paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. This is the craziest thing I ever said. No, oh, not, not you, Colonel. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm sorry we can't come. Uh, Roger and I send our apologies. Yes, sir. Uh, goodbye. Well, Major Nelson, here are the reports on... <laughs> You're up to your ears in papers. You notice that, too, sir. Major, uh, why are you up to your ears in papers? Well, uh, the, uh, we, uh, well, uh, we're, we're cleaning out the files, sir, you see, and then and the window was open and it blew all the papers all over. Yeah, that's right. We're 40 feet below ground level. There are no windows. <laughs> well, uh, the air... Uh, no, actually, air what happened was... Uh, please. <laughs> what do you suppose really happened? Jeannie, that's what happened. Get out of here. She told me that she gave up her powers for 24 hours. Yeah, but she lied. And just for that, I'm not going to take her tonight. Yeah, well, she's going to be pretty upset. She's going to be upset? Look at this mess. Now, don't worry. I'll help you with it. That's right. You're a brick. <laughs> Roger? Roger, is this you? Roger? Speak to me, will you? Hey, you know, Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, no one, sir. No one, nothing. Yet. Um... You were talking to this brick. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous, sir. Oh, uh, would it? Normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill mm. brick. It's... What happened to Major Healy? <clears throat> Major who? Oh, Major Healy. Oh, yeah, he was around here some. Uh, I... I'll see you both in my office in ten minutes. <laughs> Dr. Bellis. Uh, yes? May I have my brick? <laughs> here we are. <laughs> no need to get so excited. After all, it's only a brick, Major. You said so yourself. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I need it as a paperweight for all the paper because of the wind in the, in the window. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> but I will, Major. I will. <laughs> all right, Jimmy. Now, that is enough. I want Roger back in his original form. <laughs> You're sure cute, Rod. <laughs> Jeannie, I want him back the way he was a few minutes ago. Oh. 